Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Lapis One Light Bath Sconce. This is the 21350. There's also a three light version of it as well. Check that out. That is a 201352. Hubberton says that this is a bath sconce, but you can use this anywhere. They just want to make sure that you're aware that you can use it in a bathroom and, um, and you're good to go. A uh, quick little thing on this, you'll notice in the pull down menu where it says choose your finish, it's going to be available in some limited finishes from them. In reality, we can do all those finishes, the interior finishes, and the finishes help guide. However, if there are the finishes and help guide ones are not on that list, they would be customs. But we can do it because you might be mixing this up with another fixture and want to get the same finish. So just kind of just keep that little note, okay? The height of this is 10.6 inches high, width of it is 5 inches. Back plate is a 5 inch round. It's going to go over your 4 inch junction box, just like that. Weighs only about 2 pounds, so you're good to go there. Uh, let's look, talk about installations instructions. So if you're on the page for this on handmadeinvermont.com, look over on that side of the screen, midway down, under those pull-down menus, you're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installations PDF. So open that up for me. It's going to give you a full parts list, how you put this together, which takes about a second, because it's wicked easy. Uh, it's also going to give you some great line drawings of the canopy, the, the setup of the canopy in the back when it goes onto your junction box. It's going to show you lots of details and you can take advantage of those because there's lots of different angles you can see this fixture that you won't be able to see in photographs or on this video. So uh, use those install sheets if you can. They'll be on basically every page on Handmade in Vermont for every product, so they're good to, to have. Okay, moving on, let's talk about glass on this. You've got opal glass, which is a opaque wet glass I'll talk about a little more in the video. You also have water glass and water glass is going to be a clear glass with a slight ripple like running water. It's very pretty. Um, okay, after that let's talk about what's inside of this. So medium base socket It's going to be taking your screw in bulb and these are mediums are just the larger ones we all grew up with. You can go up to 60 watts for incandescent in, in this fixture. This is an incandescent. This is a flame tip, a little point knocked off. This is a torpedo shape. So this is an LED, this is an incandescent. You're, you're limited at 60 watts because of the heat generated by an incandescent. When you get into LEDs, it's really about whatever you can get into the fixture. So if you want to try some other bulbs and their LEDs, don't be afraid, like a 60 watt version of a A15 or something like that. But anyway, this is the one that Hubbardton kind of recommends. I think aesthetically when it's kind of pointing down, and this is reversible, you can point it up or you can point it down. Um, this might be a pretty bulb to look at. And these come frosted as well. When you're buying your LEDs, I always talk about uh, look for the color temperature that you like. If you're going to be using this in the bathroom, I kind of recommend that you probably use that warmer light. It casts a nice warm glow. That's going to be 3000 Kelvin. That's the same light that's coming down on my hands from these bulbs up above. Uh, the, the light that you see like in airport bathrooms or hospitals, that's, that's called daylight and that's 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin. That's that bluish light. Some, some people definitely like that, but a lot of people in bathrooms want that warmth of an incandescent bulb and you're good to go there. It's also a dimmable fixture, so if you're going to be putting this on a dimmer, and, and you, like I said, you may be using this some other place in a bathroom and you want to dim it, not a problem. Just make sure you tell your installer that you're doing that so they use the right dimmer on the wall. So I want to touch on Hubberton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubberton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the end. You can see them on these two pieces and it gives it this really soft uh, semi-transparent kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft, soft glowing piece. Really, really pretty. You know, they're really obsessed about details at Hubberton Forge and a lot of people don't, um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world, but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about Let's get into metal finishes now. If you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, do me a favor, look over on the left hand side of the screen, you're going to see a lot of red tabs over there. One is going to be the finishes help guide. When you're done with this video, go over there and open that up for me and you're going to see a video at the top of that page of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubberton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a color chart just below the video, so scroll down a little bit, you'll see that chart. You'll notice there are pictures that have the letter A on them, pictures that have the letter B on them, 
And I'm going to be talking about that range you can see in variance on there in that video. So it's really important to watch the video, use that chart. When you're done with all that, come back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures and see a lot more samples of Hubbardson Forge fixtures in that finish. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in dark smoke, click on dark smoke. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in vintage platinum, do the same and so on and so on and so on. That's a great way for you to see a lot of Hubbardson Forge stuff in different finishes and really take advantage of that, okay? So our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubbardson Forge fixtures spread across two floors. <clears throat> we have a what's on display page on our website. It's going to be back in the red tabs over there. A lot of good things in that, that section check out. So when you open that up, you'll see it's all divided up into different sections like uh, dining pendants and outdoor lighting. We're always adding to that. This is the biggest showroom in the world of Hubbardson Forge. They don't even have a showroom like this. Nobody does. And they use this as their showroom when you guys come to Vermont to visit us. So lots and lots to see here. <clears throat> you can see all the different glass, all the different finishes, all the different fabrics, all of those things. In addition to that, we have a clearance center. So the clearance center stuff are returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. That's an amazing deal for you. If you guys want to take advantage of that, you, gotta, you have to come here to, to Vermont to see us. And when you do, do me a favor. Measure all the kind of things about your project and what you guys are doing. So the most important thing is measure your ceiling heights to begin with. Measure distances between junction boxes and like windows and ceilings and those kind of things. So we, if you're looking at sconces on the wall, you can see if they're going to fit for you. If you're doing pendants over a kitchen island, measure the distances between those junction boxes widths of tables, kitchen tables, dining tables, uh, lengths of tables, islands, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and also uh, do a couple more things. If you guys have some tablets or iPads lying around, take pictures of all these things. Take pictures of the, of the kitchen, take pictures of what the projects you're doing. Bring that in so we can kind of go through those pictures together and we'll be able to see what you guys are up to, okay? And also the boxes and clearance stuff, for clearance stuff, are basically uh, packed for shipping. Don't forget, these were supposedly shipped out. So <clears throat> the boxes tend to be on the bigger side, so bring a decent size SUV if you want to take stuff home. It's a really good opportunity for you. When you buy your Hubbardson Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer that offers 90-day returns and no restocking fees. That's three months after you receive something to send it back, and there's no restocking fee on that. Some larger items and custom things, and it's usually going to be big things on pallets are going to be non-returnable. It'll always tell you on the page for uh, an item if that is the case, so always keep an eye out for that. And we also offer a rush program. So to get all these different metal finishes, Hubberton Forge doesn't stock. It, they generally take about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it's really, really inexpensive. If you want to know more about that, just drop me a quick email, and I can clue you in on details, okay? So our showroom in Vermont is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to drop a quick email, you can do that all the time. And that's going to be at sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. <clears throat> or you can call me during business hours, 802-446-2400. So thank you for stopping in today, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.